hard just to double check. You guys are rolling on this. Back there. Yeah, we got white balance. Everybody got sounds? Stay right here, Chief. Okay. Okay, we ready? Everybody on? Okay. Uh, I'm Executive Assistant Chief uh, Richard Mann. I'm here to uh, inform the citizens of Houston that today one of our own is in critical condition and fighting for his life. At approximately 6.48 this evening, uh, we responded to a house fire with the report of people trapped in the 6400 block of England Street. Crews arrived on scene within two minutes and began battling the fire. During that incident, a captain, a 37-year veteran of the Houston Fire Department, uh, began to uh, experience a medical emergency and collapsed uh, at the emergency scene. His, scene, his uh, condition is extremely critical at this point. We'd like to thank the emergency staff here at Herman Hospital for their exceptional efforts uh, to work with him. And we'd like to ask the citizens of Houston keep Captain Bazile and his, uh, his family in their thoughts and prayers at this time. Can you spell the first and last name of the firefighter? Uh, first name is Dwight, D-W-I-G-H-T, Bazile, B-A-Z-I-L-L-E. Tell us anything about what doctors are saying, his prognosis, how he's doing right now. Uh, right now, he's in, again, in very critical condition. We have uh, the doctor here. We're not going to release any uh, private uh, you know, medical information, but let's just say he is in very critical condition at this point. Do we know what sort of medical emergency happened, what happened to him as he, it's after he walked out of the fire, correct? I, I would like to say that uh, every possible odd was with him. He walked out of the fire, uh, not feeling well. Uh, he collapsed in front of one of the best crews in the Houston Fire Department, in front of one of the best EMS supervisors in the Houston Fire Department, and resuscitation efforts were begun immediately. What is this like for the department? I mean, huge turnout here right now. It's one of your own. It, this is always tough, uh, one of our own. This, uh, this is also today is, the uh, unfortunately, the 10th anniversary of uh, the loss of Captain Grady Burke, who is also from the same fire station. So that makes this uh, day even more tragic. Burns or is it just uh, is it? No, at this time it appears to be medical related. Has his family been notified? How's his yes. family doing? His, his family is here. He has a, a wife who uh, has been notified and was brought here to the hospital. She's with him now. Uh, he has one son that's away in college and has also been notified. Have you guys been able to speak with him? Has his family been able to speak with him at all? Or? He's not in the condition where he can speak at this time. He, 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 is, he is not in condition to, to speak. I want to make a correction. His last name is uh, um, B A Z I L E. Only, only, only one L. But the most important thing is that he is having the best medical care possible, and there will be nothing to report this evening. Uh, he is, he is. Um, uh, in a position to be treated overnight and uh, further evaluations in the morning. Can you talk about what this is like for you, Mayor? I mean, this is one of the people who protect us on a daily basis. This is their job and they put their lives on the line every night. They were doing it again tonight. Anytime any city employee is, is injured while on duty, that is a concern. This appears to have been a medical emergency rather than related to the fire uh, the evidence is that he did uh, seek treatment on his own, did, did walk himself out of the fire. So this was uh, unfortunately a, a very serious uh, medical incident and uh, we don't know the outcome at this point. He is very, very ill. So at this point, nothing to do with the fire led up to his medical condition, totally unrelated. Well, there's a lot of lab work being done to, to confirm that. But again, this is a, 
this was dispatched as a fire with people trapped. And that is always a high adrenaline, high emotion, high, high response on, on our part. We, uh, we go the extra effort uh, in, the, in those, those cases, and, and that was, that was uh, what he was going through at that time. Anybody else injured or anything like that? Anybody else injured or any, anyone? No, there were not any other injuries. At this point, it does not look like a fire-related injury. It, is a, it was a medical emergency. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you. Said no more updates tonight.